now we're making our pom, which yep. one is very famous in Kerala and Sri Lanka. And um, it's used for this recipe for the last thousand years or more than that. Wow. Uh, it's a recipe that the appam means in um, Sri Lanka is called hoppers, uh, in Kerala is appam, um, yes. for the same. And the string hoppers and the hoppers are totally different. The string hoppers like more like noodles, um, you know, homemade with uh, rice uh, and coconut. So we're making appam butter today, then we're using uh, rice. Okay. You can see the broken raw rice. All oh, right, so you don't have to use full grains for full that. Grain, yes. okay. It's been broken and when full grain is, it doesn't matter because okay. more cheaper to buy is yeah. broken uh, uh, rice. So this rice need to wash uh, three times, then you keep it soak it for um, f at least for two hours before right. you grinding. So the rice and the freshly grated coconut grind together. Then we add yeast into that, then the special cooked butter, a little bit of cooked butter as well, add into that to give the gluten, because the rice don't have the gluten. And right. this product um, is uh, gluten free, the anti dairy free as well. So we do wash this one. Wash it, and this. you can see this all the water is become cloudy and white. You know, it's, um, Let's uh, remove this from the water. Then wash like that for three times, then yep. uh, soak it for two hours. Now it's been soaking for two hours, so we can start grinding this rice. So Before you start, why do you soak it for two hours? Is it to soften it a little bit? Yeah, it's, it's, otherwise um, it won't uh, get more softer appams. until the appam goes more hard and you know, you know, it's, uh, that's the reason it's soaking. And anything grinding, soaking, either rice or, or dals or anything, you need to be minimum soaking to two hours. Okay. So which will soften the grains. And because it's the rice, the raw rice, they get it, then they dry it in the sun. So that the dehydrate the rice. That's the reason so you're rehydrating it as well? Yeah. I understand. So, so now we can put that. in that. That's enough. So if you, if you have one kilo of rice, maybe uh, one coconut, that's enough. Yeah. So add uh, uh, warm water, not cold water, not cold water, mm -hmm. make it add warm water into that. It's a blender now, it's yep. ready to uh, go for the other, uh, to adding the yeast into this one. So, that, so you can see it's now nicely, when you touch this, it should be smooth, you can't yep. see any grain in this one. Until that smooth, the pouring consistency in the water. Yeah. So, that's the yeah. So, we are uh, making a copy. Copy is means in the local language in Kerala, it's uh, add into the, uh, the, um, the butter. We try to give the gluten for uh, the butter. So, especially it's the rice and not gluten, that's it. So what we need to do is just add a, a little full of butter into the, the boiling water here. Then we keep on stirring it. Keep on stirring. You can see this one getting thickened. Right, okay. You can see it's a change, it's yeah. thickened. Yeah. That's we're going to add into the butter. So we add that into the butter, the coffee, then we mix it thoroughly until it's get everything up. So at this point, we going to add yeast, yeast yeah. for the one one package. This one's uh, around uh, one gram. Is add into that and thoroughly mix it and keep the butter uh, for four hours into uh, temperature like 30, 30 degree above. Yeah. We maintain that. 
uh, then in the four hours it will be ready. Okay. Otherwise, if it's at less temperature, you need a more hours to ferment it. So now we mix it with a coffee and yeast. Yep. Uh, we don't add this stage, we don't add any salt or anything now. So just we mix it and keep it in a warm place for three, hours, three to four hours. Okay. So preheated up on pan, so copper pan. It's a shape like a bowl shape. Yep. And so, uh, that. So this is a pot. Uh, then you can pour the butter. This is about to be now uh, four hours fermented. Yep. Uh, so you can see the bubbles start coming in. It's a yeast working on it. Yep. So, you can pour one ladle full. There, take it in both hands and rotate it. Keep it. Lightly close it. The steam will hold it. Okay. So that's how. So we can see that on one side is done. So turn the pan and keep it another maybe five more seconds. Yep. So it's ready now. So what is the difference? It's it's, a, it's like I made a Sri Lankan hopper. Kerala hopper is a little bit more thicker in the middle and you fluffy. Right, that's true. So we see. take it. Put it here. with uh, vegetable stew. So, yeah. Here is uh, four pairs of which uh, well goes with the uh, vegetable stew from Kerala. It's, um, it's, a, it's same like uh, chapati. Right. So we can eat that one. So this is a mixed vegetable curry we, bar. It's more... It's, it's a, a mixed vegetable coconut, 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 coconut milk. Coconut milk. Yeah. yeah, okay. So uh, this is a totally vegan, gluten-free, it's a dairy-free, um, uh, nuts-free. It's a, it's a, People, most of people can have that. It's, it's a pure vegan dish. Vegan dish. Okay. Okay. And the up on. See what that tastes like. I'm going to taste this just by itself, I know. I'm guessing it tastes similar to a dosa, but obviously it's a different process. So I'm guessing it tastes like a dosa, but the actual um, preparing and cooking it completely different. Uh, let's have a little taste. That's quite nice, actually. Very, it is actually quite similar to a dosa. Um, really nice. Nice and crunchy, really nice and crispy. Let's take some of this curry and have a little taste of that. And he said this was vegan, so that should be really a nice experience. I've never had this before. And you can see this, the vegetables are very fresh in there. Let's take a little bit of that. A little bit of the And taste the see what it tastes like. That's really nice. The gravy is really nice. The um, vegetables are really uh, fresh tasting. And it's not overly spicy, it's not too hot. Somebody, somebody who doesn't really like hot food should really like this. And obviously somebody who's vegan should like it. Hold a little bit of greens, beans there. Let's see what that's like. Yeah, really nice. I'll give that a thumbs up as well. That's a really nice curry. And the appam, or the hoppers, is really um, a nice um, first time try. Really, really good.